your time now 70 degrees outside. We were following a developing story involving that shuttle bus accident near Atlanta's airport. It happened a couple of weeks ago. Three people who police say caused the accident. They've now been charged in the case. CBS Atlanta, uh, Atlanta's Rebecca Schramm live in College Park with more. And Rebecca, we are waiting for the three of them to turn themselves in. We are, Tracy. We're checking here and we're also checking at the Fulton County Jail. And so far, no one has surrendered to authorities in this case. We have a photo that we want to show you that's pretty important here. It's an up close shot of one of the tires on that shuttle bus. It shows that the tread was worn so thin you could actually see the steel belt showing. It was on May 24th when the bus plowed into a tractor trailer whose driver was making an illegal U turn according to police. 17 people were injured in the crash. Now police have charged the tractor trailer driver Mario Cochran and the driver of the shuttle bus Yolanda Bowles. Investigators say she was improperly licensed and that she knew the bus was having problems with its brakes but didn't take action to solve the problem. If Miss Bowles did do what she was supposed to she should have seen those tires and not have taken that vehicle out. Now, the owner of the shuttle bus company is also charged in the case with operating unsafe vehicles. We'll let you know when any of the three turn themselves in. We're live in College Park. Rebecca Schramm, Better Mornings Atlanta. Rebecca.